if all the rearrangements of the word Amazon are considered, what is the probability that M will feature between the two A's? M somewhere in between the two A's, what is the probability that this will happen? We usually solve all our questions with the more roundabout method and then see the juicier method. I'm going to invert that now. I'm going to directly get to the answer. If you're considering six words, six letter words, within that we are worrying about M and two A's. The M and two A's can be as M A A. A M A A A M. Only this internal arrangement matters. Within this, in this case, M is between the two A's. In these two, it is not. Answer is 1 by 3. Done. And so directly you can get to the answer. The other three letters do not matter at all. And we are going to see why that is the case. What is the underlying idea behind only these three letters mattering? And just for argument's sake, let's say that A, M, and A are in slots 2, 3, and 6. And, so, and further, let's say A is here, A is here, and M is here. Think about how many words are there with A, A, and M in these three slots. Right? That means Z, O, and N are in the remaining three slots, or there are three factorial words possible. Right? With A, A, and M in the second, third, and sixth slot, respectively, three factorial words are possible. Right? Now, let's expand this premise. Let's say that the second, third, and sixth slots belong to A, A, and M, but they could be in any order. Right? Or, in other words, it could be A, A, M, it could be A, M, A, or it could be M, A, A. For each of these possibilities, there are three factorial words. Right? Or total number of words where 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, where the three letters that we are looking at are in these three positions, the total number of words is 3 factorial into 3. Within this 3 factorial into 3, 1 3 factorial satisfies the condition we are looking for, m in between two a's. Right? So, one third of the words where a, m and a are in these slots work for us. That one third is the probability that we are looking for. If we assume a, m and a are in the second, third and sixth positions. Now, if we say a, m and a are in the first, third and fourth position. Again, every piece of the logic we have followed is exactly the same. One third of the words will work for us or one third of all words work for us or the probability is one by three. Okay. Wonderful question to, to look at the idea that if you're thinking about M between M lying between two A's, we need to worry only about the internal arrangement of the two A's and the M. We don't have to worry about the Z, O, N. Right. Simple idea, but very powerful idea.